Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm walking you through some tips and tricks on how to find a good case for your Z Fold 4 device. Now for this particular video I'm going to make it very very quick so don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. Now we're going to jump straight in. We have a generic case here for around $20. We actually have the standing cover with pen made by Samsung right here for anywhere between $50 and $80 online. And this one I actually got for free since I pre-ordered the Z Fold 4. And then we have a $14 case, which ironically is my favorite case out of this lot. So the primary reason that a lot of people have issues finding a good case for the Z Fold 4 is because of the fold and the hinge itself. That may sound obvious, but if we focus in and use this case here, which is the only one that I have that does not have an adhesive strip on this side here, most people complain about that, but that's actually what makes most of the cases that work, work. So in this case, we will pop the screen protector on and I'm gonna show you the basically what that adhesive strip does. So when we focus in here, you can see there's a little bit of a gap. You can see that this actually basically pushes in. So you can see the movement on the phone when I'm actually pressing down on the case. So there is a considerable gap right here, which you would think isn't that big of a deal, but it gets to be very annoying during day-to-day -day use. Additionally, if you're the kind of person that's going to hold the phone and then let's just say you go to flip it, if you grip right here, it'll start to push in, which gives it a risk of either snapping or popping the entire case off. As you can see, it doesn't take much effort. And if you have a tempered glass protector, it'll also pull that off when you're just using it day to day. So that adhesive strip, most people don't like, but it actually helps the screen protector to stay on the device itself. So now we're gonna to go to the screen protector made by Samsung. So you'll see it looks very, very similar. And right here, we actually have this tape pull or, or pulley or whatever you wanna call it. You basically peel this off and it helps to secure it to the phone. Now it's securing it right here because if you notice, we have this hinge and when the phone is completely open, anything that would protect or help grip on right here would get in the way of the folding functionality and you can ignore the tape on the side of the phone. So basically the issue with most of these cases is this is as much as they can add as far as protection on the left side of the phone where that hinge goes. So the reason that I have opted for this case here as my top pick is because for the Z Fold 4 in particular, if you want a low profile case, I think you're going to have to just accept that you're going to potentially need multiple cases over the life of the phone for one reason. And that reason is this case here is the second of this brand that I purchased. I'll put a link to it in the description. Unfortunately, I ordered blue and I got the white one, but it is what it is. This is the second one I ordered. The first one, this piece here snapped, but I put a lot of pressure on it when I was using it. So I guess it's one of those things where you get what you pay for. But I've tried the Spigen case for the Z Fold 4 and I just didn't like the look and feel and fit which is the first time, because that's normally a brand that I love, so I'm hoping that they kind of revamp that case. But with this item here, you'll see we have the adhesive strip on the inside, relatively small form factor, although you may not be able to see that through the video, but relatively slim fit to the case itself, and the build quality when you push this on, so I'm not even taking the adhesive strip off, but most of these you can put on either side and basically just push down, slide in, and you'll see with this one, when you snap it into place, it fits much better than the $20 case, and it just has a better look to it. So it doesn't have much play at all once you snap it in. And again, obviously you would have to make sure that you are fitting it all the way as it should and then taping it down, but it doesn't have much, if any, play at all has a solid fit, solid look. It doesn't get in the way of the tempered glass screen protector. So overall, unfortunately, I think that the cheaper screen protector in this case, uh, or fortunately for most, is gonna be the one that actually works the best. So putting the screen protector or the case on the back of the device, you'll see that we have a little bit of a bump here to make sure that the cameras aren't scratching on the table, but you can tell it has a small form factor relatively slim or as slim as it can be. 
And on the back, we just have fold case, original design. So normally I would go with a Spigen case or one of the brand names to protect the phone. But in this case, I think most people are less likely to drop a phone of this size and are more likely to be more careful with it. So I'll drop a link in the description to get this case for yourself. But if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.